mean, I'm not empathetic to men. I will not lie. I am not empathetic to men. I don't care about their feelings. I do not care. You're a man. You be a man. Misogyny. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if that's misogyny. So that's why I'm making the argument that I make the argument that women aren't empathetic because y'all don't don't... understand us or give a fuck. And that's fine. But we, we have to understand you guys, though. I, I think you proved our point I, that women aren't empathetic, which yeah. which is honestly never, she's keeping it real. I've I, said it before. Women don't give a fuck about your problems. I don't give a fuck about his problems. Yeah. She's but being you want honest. Me, you want me to act like I give a fuck no, about no, his no, problems? No, no. Cool. You want me to We're you want me to feel bad? I completely yeah. understand. We're this is for everybody. You. I thought that was standard. You know what I mean? Like at least two hundred dollars. I got two hundred dollars. Two hundred. You was the dude. You drop it two hundred on a first date. I I should yeah. And then she tells you, oh Jesus. I ain't fucking. What are you doing? I'm spending two hundred dollars on the other bitch. <laughs> so, oh no! Like I, I. And guys, isn't it always interesting how? Um, let's let, let, let's go back just real quick, right? A first date. In fact, any date should be. The primary reason for a date is to get to know the other person. Why does it matter how much money the person has to spend on the debt? It's like, is this a financial advisor kind of debt where you're trying to see if I have enough money to invest in, a, in your company? Is it a business meeting? Like, why do some women always worry about how much money the man is trying to spend on a debt? This is someone you don't know, someone who doesn't know you. You are trying to get to know each other. It sh- you should even be able to just take a walk in the park. Like, seriously. Because when money is involved, or how much money is spending, the guy in the, at the back of his mind, this is my opinion, the guy is worried about how much she's going to order, how much food she's going to order, how many drinks she's going to order, how expensive the place is. So he's not living in the moment, right? But also the girl is worried about if he's not spending enough, if he's not taking me to an expensive place, then he doesn't like me that much. He, oh, he's not for me. Or maybe he's broke. So both people are going on a debt, worried about how much I'm spending, how much is he spending on me, and they're not going to the debt for the right reasons. Like, this is crazy to me, but this is the dating right now. So this is the dating scene right now in 2024, right? So the girl is saying that she expects a man to spend $200 on her on the first date. Out of the blue, two hundred dollars, right? It's not about let's go get some ice cream for ten dollars or twenty dollars. It's not about uh, let's grab some tacos. It's not about let's do something simple. Maybe go play pool, bowling, and just hang out, talk. No, it's about you better spend two hundred dollars, and that should be the standard. But it's the first day to get to know someone. But I can't blame her. This is the dating. This is what some women think and expect in in twenty twenty four. And it's just sad because dating is more about the money. And if a man says, I'm not spending that money, what do they say? They're going to call you broke. So it's just, it's crazy to see the dating standards and entitlement and expectations 2024. And it's sad, but I don't think it's going to help. I don't think it's going to change anytime soon. I think it's going to get for the, it's going to get worse and worse, especially as the economy maybe becomes worse or money becomes more tight. Women are going to expect more and the men are just going to want to do less. In fact, some men are opting out of dating completely. Some men are becoming passport bros and going outside the country, outside of America to date other women. And guess what they're called? They're called cheap because apparently they're going for women who are cheap, right? In other countries who are broke. So the dating scene in America is weird. It's crazy and it's just going to get worse. That's my opinion. So let's continue watching and see what's up. Like, I, I can't imagine being a man, but like at least two hundred dollars on a date. You're that crazy. I can't imagine being a man. I can't imagine How? Uh, yeah. How would I be able to well, do that? Would at least be like one fifty. Did, did you agree with the teacher that said women are more empathetic? Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Empathy, um, right? Empathy, right? Um, I never, I never really, I really just, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, that that card, 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 card. Yeah. Yeah. Card, you triggered my trap card. Because you, you were agreeing with her earlier when you, yeah. when she said that women are more empathetic, and I made the argument that women are not more empathetic. I feel like women are empathetic in a way where, like, it's like a mother. Like, you I'm, just demonstrated I'm super, by your answer I'm, that women are not empathetic. Okay, let me explain to you why sure. I thought that. Um. 
because as a mother like i feel like i'm very empathetic to children i mean i'm not empathetic to men i will not lie i am not empathetic to men i don't care about their feelings i do not care you're a man you be a man misogyny yeah definitely i don't know if that's misogyny so that's why i'm making the argument that i make the argument that women aren't empathetic because y'all don't i don't understand us or give a fuck and that's fine but we, we have to understand you guys though Absolutely. Did I just not say like when a man cries, it makes me dry. I do not care if a man cries. I do not care if you you just lost. Hey, at least she's being honest, right? She's being honest because you find some ladies who will say, I want my man to cry to me. I want my man to open up to me. But deep down, the moment you cry or you show weakness or you show vulnerability that you're being vulnerable to her, she's just going to lose attraction for you and she's never going to tell you. So I actually like that she's being she's being honest because some guys live in Delulu land, La La Land thinking, oh, she said, just because she said she wants you to cry and open up to her and be vulnerable and tell her all your problems, what you're going through, that she's going to just be okay with it. Some women actually want men who who are, who are their rock, right? Who are their strong foundation. She wants to be the one to come and cry to you, right? So for the first time, I think this is the first woman I've watched on these panels who is being honest that I don't care about a man's feelings. I don't care. I don't want my man to cry. I don't want a weak man. It, it dries me up, meaning she loses any sexual attraction for the man. She's being honest, but she's going to be even more br brutally honest. Let's watch some more. Lost your job. I do not care if you lost a leg. But you disagree with the care. teacher before about women being more empathetic. Yeah, but I am and not emotional I, intelligence and all that. I understand what she is saying, but I'm I personally I personally I'm not that empathetic. I'm not empathetic to men, and I know that because my relationships have shown that time and time and time and time again. At least I'm honest to myself. I know who I, I am. I understand that you're yeah. not, you're empathetic and you're cold and you're soulless, which is cool. No, right? I'm not soulless. I I have a soul. I love people. But I personally, I feel like if a man, the things that a man does, like I just like you have to be like a man of a man. You have to be like a Viking. You have to be like a warrior. Like I'm not gonna respect you. Said you said a man to watch his arm. Then I'm not. <laughs> like, said, if he lost his job, you wouldn't give right. a fuck. It's like, a girl, that's arm. not empathetic. <laughs> I just said that I was no, not empathetic. No, she's saying that she's not empathetic. But I'm saying that you were agreeing with the teacher before, saying that women are more empathetic. And we I could roll that. the clip, but you could see like my face, well, the way that like I'm like oh, trying baby. to understand like what she's saying. I could have sworn uh, you. All right. Yeah, agreed. we could roll the clip after this. It's, like, we yeah. can. Chat, help me out here. No, Did she say that women are more empathetic than men, emotionally intelligent? I don't know. I mean, she's being honest. See, I can admit I'm a bad Christian. But that's what Christian like. <laughs> nah, I mean, she's being honest, right? That's what she wants. Because, like I said, most women will tell you that they want you to be weak, vulnerable, cry, tell me your problems, cry on my shoulders, I'm here for you. But she's saying if her man loses her, his job, he better find another job because she's not going to care. She's saying if her man cries, the punani is going to dry up. She's saying she's not empathetic at all, which, I mean, you may not like what she's saying, but at least she's being honest. And all the time, guys are talking about women should be honest. They shouldn't try to tell us what we want to hear as well, but she's being honest. And, you know, I don't like the fact that they're kind of trying to box her. She's being honest. The other ladies are going to lie and say i want my man to cry if he loses his job i'll be okay with it but even that even then when a man loses his job there's like a time clock the woman is like okay when are you getting back on your feet the only issue small issue i may see is let's say her man like they give an example if her man loses a, a leg breaks a limb and he can't work for some time she still says she doesn't she doesn't care he needs to get his shit together but that's the only part where I may be like, okay, you get to show a little bit, you know, especially if you've been with a person for some time and he has been providing. Now he's sick or he's injured and can't provide for you. You may have to show some kind of um, empathy. But she's being honest. So any man who's trying to date her has to know, hey, listen, I'm with this girl, but if I lose my job, if I, lose, if I get sick and I can, can't provide, she doesn't care and she may dip. So she's being honest. I like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not Christ. I never I never said that I was Christ. 
Okay, I said I that I follow Jesus. I never said that I am like Christ. I am Christ. I'm not. I'm not perfect. He's the only person that has not sinned. I fall short of God all the time, and I get up yeah. all the time, and I, and I okay. try okay, my hardest. It, get, you know what I mean? Uh, sure. I think you proved our point I, that women aren't empathetic, which yeah. which is honestly never, she's keeping it real. I've I, said it before. Women don't give a fuck about your problems. I don't give a fuck about his problems. Yeah. She's but being you honest. Me, you want me to act like I give a fuck no, about no, his no, problems? No, no. Cool. You want me to? We're you want me to feel bad? I completely understand. This is for everybody, but I'm not. We understand that. You I'm understand not that like that. Care. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, we, know, we, know. Yes, we know. We know. She's I being honest. I like yeah, it. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, no, I like it. She doesn't care about your problems. I'm just making an argument that most women don't care. Yeah. They, they, don't. they they are like you is what they I'm trying don't. to say. As much as they say I am empathetic, y'all are not really. Okay. Yeah. yeah you see, this one is gonna lie. How can I not what? Like, how can you not care? Like. This one is lying. Like, She's you lying. You see a man like, going through feel... pain. You see the the person you love losing their job in a bad space. Like, in like I don't know, triggered by whatever, going, like reliving whatever trauma, and and even crying in front of your face, and you have zero feeling towards that. You love that person. I feel like I could you feel. You love ba- that I person. Could, let me answer your question. I could feel bad for them, but I do. Expect them to strive after. So like, she can have sympathy, get up, but not get up, get up. Yeah, that's what I was saying. She might feel bad that hey, listen, my husband or my boyfriend has lost his job, he's injured, but she expects you to get on your feet like ASAP. Like, well, I'm not gonna give you six months. I'm not gonna give you two years for you to figure it out. You better figure it out right now. I kind of agree with her, but I guess that's the that's just life. Some people are not are not gonna give you forever. It's just like, um, I think the only person every man should hope will wait and, you know, be there for you and not judge you as much. It's probably going to be your mom, your mother. That's the only person who's going to let you do whatever you want to do or fall or get, get, get on her time and she's going to be there for you. But your wife, your girlfriend, there's always a time clock right at some point especially let's say you've been providing for the family and then you get into an accident you can't work anymore and now she has to pay for everything she's gonna get resentful at some point she's gonna get mad she's gonna get depressed she's gonna get um she's gonna get pissed at you not because she doesn't she doesn't feel bad that you are sick and you cannot provide right now but for the fact now that she has to provide for you and your kids. So at some point, she's going to become resentful towards you. Just as a human being, we all go through those things, especially when we feel like everyone is leaving us to do everything. It happens. So I applaud her for being honest. And as, as men, this should be a lesson that that whole thing of unconditional love, it doesn't exist. At some point, in almost every scenario, Everyone is going to love you under the conditions you make them feel good. And one of the ways you make people feel good is they feel you are useful to their lives. You provide something to their lives, right? So only your mama will ever love you and not really. Even your mama has conditions. Hey, you are my son. But if you start acting like this, if you're not being useful, if you're a nuisance to society, that love is going to go kind of down. So... I upload her for being honest. I'll put the link down below to the full video if you guys want to finish it. Peace.